Hello everyone, I'm Sunaif, and welcome to one of them. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so uh, this thing had a main menu, but it already started whenever I tabbed in, so yeah. Also, as you can probably tell, top right of my webcam, there is a heartbeat monitor now. This is the new equipment I was talking about. I don't know how accurate this thing is, I mean, it seems to fluctuate a lot. But it seems to be, like, fluctuating accurately, I think. Whenever I got up and was doing stuff, I, like, jumped into 100. And whenever I sat down and stuff, it dropped down to, like, 90s and 80s, so... Uh, hopefully this thing works well. I had to get it wet to use it. Oh! Pulling a knife out. Which I thought was the weirdest thing to have to, like, get this thing wet. I also still have sunburn, like, on my chest, so this is over my sunburn. Alright. This is a free indie horror game on Game Jolt. Pixelated style too. Pretty nice. Ooh. Okay. So we have that way or that way? Can we open doors? What is this? What kind of door mechanic is that? This one could be killed if something can chase me. Alright, let's see. What is this? Radio? I just recently began listening to your radio show and could not believe it. When you talked about the sounds from hell tonight. My uncle had told me this story a couple of years ago, and I didn't believe him. Like one of your listeners who discounted the story as nothing more than just a religious newspaper fabricated account. The story about the digging, the hearing of the sounds from hell is very real. It did occur in Siberia. I was very hesitant to send you this as the sound bothers me to listen to. I'd suggest that if you do play it on the program, warn listeners in advance so they may have the option of turning the radio off for 30 seconds while it plays. It has always haunted me. Turn the true, radio off? And I, for one, wish it wasn't. Turn it off, please. And so I submit now to clean uh, a better copy to you, and uh, I warn you what you are about to hear. Very disturbing indeed. Is that it? Just that for 30 seconds. Okay. I mean, screaming, yeah, but I'm sure someone just like screamed to a microphone and edited it with like audacity or something. Eh, eh, there we go. Yeah, I'm screwed if something chases me. I need to get through a door. Oh, I can't see shit. <gasps> oh my god, there's a person there. Okay, alright. Um, hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Nice ass, dude. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I dropped up to 104, 105. Okay, so it's increasing a lot more with me talking now, but, you know, got over 100 there. I think this thing's pretty accurate. Hurts like hell to have this on my sunburn, though. Let's see. Ooh, down or over here? Oh, it looks like over here is blocked. Okay. Check out this room. Nope. All right. Downstairs it is. There's no sprinting in this, so I would imagine there's not going to be a chase scene or anything like that. There's no, probably not going to be like any uh, way to die in this game, unless it's some kind of like environmental death. I really wish you'd stop tapping the microphone. That just sounds like someone just tapping the little microphone. Ooh. Okay, hello. Bro, nice eyes. Okay. Oh shit, there's a body in the corner. Hello. Hello? Okay. Oh. Ah! Oh, I thought he shot me. Someone shot him. Joke's on you. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I have blood on my hands. It's from the knife. We know this. Okay. Well, the bodies are gone. Is there anything in here I can get? No? Okay. What do I... Oh, here we go.
It, the sound is coming from the, in the back of the radios, not the front of the radios. If I turn to the left, the sound is in my left, and then when I go this way, it's all like left and right. Okay. Alright. There's no nothing in those rooms, nothing in that room. I guess I go back now. This is probably one of those horror experiences where you go to one room, something happens, and then you go back and you'll get a different experience. No? Ah, yes, okay, so the, all the debris here is gone. Hello, little people. I don't know why I said little people, but whatever. Oh, that would be bad if this bridge fell apart. Long way down. All right, let's. I don't even know what I don't even know what I'm doing. What, is there something item I need or? I don't know why, but this room looks safer than the other one. Oh, well, I'm not too far underground. If I can hear the police. Is that all you were going to do? Okay. Uh, oh, and left. Ooh, spooky. Oh, hey, there's a chair. Hey, it's like a decay. Wasn't there like a chair at the end of the hallway with a guy? Yeah, he like hung himself. Hello. Nice ass, dude. Okay. All right, was not expecting that. All his friends disappeared, but not him. Oh, I he stabbed me again. In the same spot. That's not nice. I'm falling. I'm falling. Is that it? Nope. Nope. Can't do anything. That does not sound good. Oh, hello. Is that me? I have no hair. I'm on fire! What the hell? Oh, no hair. Looks like I'm a football player. I killed my mom, girlfriend, wife, sister, aunt. Complete stranger. I looks like I'm one of them now. One of them. All right. Is that it? So there you go. Created by RG Crew. That was a short indie horror game from Game Jolt. Overall, not too bad. It was a little cheesy. There wasn't a whole lot of scares. Uh, the first initial scene where I got locked in the room with the naked guy crouched on the ground, that junior really startled me. After that, it was just kind of creepy. But overall, not too much horror for me. I know, like, this is like. The whole game is horror, but to me, after like that first room, it wasn't even really a horror game, it was just a walking experience. But overall, I can't complain too much, and it made for a nice little test video for uh, my heartbeat monitor. This thing, like, it's so weird. Let me, uh, like, get it off and show you guys real fast. Alright, so this is it. This is a, uh, a Garmin heartbeat monitor. Right there. You basically just pull this strap. Well, actually, you have to wet this. That part, and then that part. They're like the electrodes or whatever. You wet them and you get like 15 to 20 minutes of heartbeat monitor, which I think is kind of dumb. I don't know why it can't just detect my heartbeat through, I don't know, beats or whatever, and vibrations. It needs to be wetted. Uh, this is a relatively cheap end uh, heartbeat monitor. I think this plus the little uh, USB stick for it costs overall like $40. So there's a lot of heartbeat monitors that cost like $100 to $150. So overall, not too bad for my first uh, heartbeat monitor. And as you can see, I just flatlined. My heart rate is now zero, but yeah, overall can't complain. So there's probably going to be, I'm probably going to use this in like all my horror videos from now on, but if there's like random ass cuts, it's probably because I'm having to re-wet this, but yeah, overall I can't complain with it and I can't really can't complain too much with this game. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next episode.